Hello, everybody. Life Enthusiast, online radio and internet TV network. Martin Patilla here, the health coach at Life Enthusiast. With me, Elijah Free, Master Herbalist, Earth Friend. Thank you for being here, Elijah. Hi, Martin. Thank you. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to talk and meet all the great folks who use our products out there for so many years. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I wanted to try and explain these things in a logical grouping, in some way how things relate. How right about we talk about the immunogen and the fibro ease and fungus ease? Mm -hmm. How do they relate to one another and why do we think that people should consider them as in together or separately? Wonderful. So let's just first define the three of them. Immunogen is well for your immune system on <laughs> that one. There are days sometimes it's really hard to come up with good names for things, you know. So anyhow, we're to just use a few words and then we'll go in detail. The fungus formula is uh, designed pretty much strictly for fungus, mold, and yeast. And when we go back to there, as I mentioned before about the fibro formula, this has got a really great trick into it. And then the fibro formula for fibromyalgia, the reason that we put this together is a lot of people think it's an immune problem. It actually isn't. It's actually a chemical chain. But I decided, as Martin and I were talking, to put them together just so that you can see the difference between these. So I'd like to start with the fibro formula, if we could first. Um, this was the first of a grouping of formulas quite a few years ago that I made. It was for a patient. She had such bad fibromyalgia. Honestly, a lady, and she's about a third degree black belt, uh, my age at the time. Actually, she was older. She was probably early 60s. Third degree black belt in uh, Aikido, had her own Aikido studio, and her tissue was really hard. So one night, I just went, you know what? I am just, I was setting things. She felt better for the week and wasn't holding. So I had to come up with something. So I was working on her and I had actually just had a humongous piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> so, chocolate inspires me, what can I say? I was having a chocolate shamanic snaps at the moment, which took me out of my body, made me one with the universe. No kidding. So suddenly I went, oh, I understand what causes this, and the chemistry danced in front of my eyes. And I went, now that was a great piece of chocolate cake. I went home, I designed the formula. It took me as long as it was to write it down. Okay, it was ready in three weeks because the tinctures take a while. I gave it to her and I said, no charge, let's try it out. She comes in next week, she goes, could it possibly work that fast? Well, yeah, I guess it did. In other words, the first of these formulas really far exceeded design expectations. Now, fibromyalgia or fibrinous conditions on that occur in the body when there is a missing nutritional component. Now, what happens when that's missing is it gives wrong signals to the body chemically. So fibrin in the body is really important. We all have to have fibrin in the body. It's like when we talk about the fungus formula, we have to have yeast in the body. If there was no yeast, there would be a problem also too. It's like trace minerals. We got iron and nickel and cadmium and the aluminum. We have all kinds of stuff in our body. I'm not sure if we have aluminum. We have arsenic and stuff. We have aluminum? Okay. Anyhow, Martin's saying yes. So um, what the f happens then is with the wrong chemical signal is the fibrin which exists, it lives literally between the layers of fascia and it acts as protectant and uh, all of that kind of stuff in there oh, is a loop, um, to help it to move smoothly. Well, think of it this way. Suddenly the cells go, you know, we're kind of getting a signal over here. We were originally told to stay semi-solvent, neither hard or neither liquid. Now they're getting a signal that says, go baby, go, and get hard and big. So it's kind of like someone drops a dandelion seed in your yard. They come back a year later, and there's a lot of dandelions. You come back the next year, the yard is full. So it starts as a few cells, and it gets hard, and it grows. The most common place where we check it is the trapezius muscles. If you'd like to learn how to actually check to see if you have it, you have to do it with a friend or partner or something, please go to the other video that we have, which is called uh, Ending Fibromyalgia. And in there, you'll see myself and my wife, Maggie, over there in a demonstration over there of how to check if you actually have it. Um, now, science, uh, medical science sometimes says, oh, if you hurt in five or six, seven places, you have fibromyalgia. 
So you fell down the stairs, you don't have fibromyalgia. If you were in a car accident, you don't have fibromyalgia. If you were playing football, you don't have fibromyalgia. So I don't go by that. We go by tissue presentation. You got the tissue. It feels like it. It's very grainy and striated. Can't go wrong. Yeah. I would like to butt in here uh, with the following. Yes, sir. In general, the word fibromyalgia has been used much more broadly than you're defining it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, the fibrosis in the connective tissue, as, as this addresses, is different from the general term fibromyalgia, which is the term for chronic fatigue and uh, hypothyroid and migraine and, uh, and who knows what else. Mm -hmm. the, the medical terminology now for the syndrome for which doctors now started prescribing Lyrica and who knows what else. We're not talking about that. We define it much more narrowly, specifically yes. to the point where if you have the corduroy crunchy tissues in your muscles, this thing will beautifully stop this muscle problem. As long as it's true fibromyalgia. There are a few other things that can cause that. But when they do the shoulder thing, like again, please refer to the video. There's nothing that feels like that striation. I've never felt anything like that. And when I worked OR, I've had my hands inside the body. I've had my hands in practically everywhere. Lots and lots of bodies over the years being a paramedic and OR tech and all kinds of stuff. Now, conditions of the lungs, it does not work on. It has a different combination of chemical nature. The same thing with fibroids on it. So as I said before, it's a one trick pony and it's a fantastic trick. Lots and 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 lots of people come in, okay, with fibromyalgia. It's really, really common on it. And as long as you have a proper presentation of the tissue, and again, if you have a question, folks, go to the video, you fulfill that and that formula should work for you. You'll see usually for the general person on the average, and again, I'm saying average and median here, it could be shorter or longer, but usually within two to three weeks, the tissue begins to soften enough. It could be palpated a little, and you can feel a little bit of a difference. And over a period of months, it causes a reabsorption. Now, I want to explain, this is one of the coolest parts of the formula. It's what we call a passive formula. It does not antagonize the tissue and go, hey, fibrinous tissue, we want you to go home. Go away forever. Rather, it corrects the chemical chain in the body, and the body reabsorbs it back at its own metabolic rate, because the condition that tells it to exist no longer exists. Now, that's a smart formula, I think. I have to say, myself. Right. Now, does it correct it once and for all, or is it you need to keep taking it? You have to keep taking it on it. We can correct a tremendous amount, but we can't change the genetic structure at this point with things. We can correct things coming off of there pretty close, but we, we can't rewire the system for that. However, once the tissue's gone, you can go down to twice a day, and then eventually once a day, and just take it maybe four or five times a week, you know, on four different days, but it has to be completely gone. With that, it would take a long time for the tissue to remanifest, and that amount for the average person, if you stay good with that, that should work nicely. We've had many, many, many people over the years go down to something like that. But if you completely get rid of it, and you stop, in years to come, it will probably present again, excuse me, because we can't change your genetic structure. So the fungus formula, um, obviously there's an awful lot of fungus formulas on the market uh, with it. This is for yeast and mold, all those things too. So while I could say in terms of how it kills the yeast and fungus and mold, I would call it best of show. I wouldn't say, oh, we're the only ones that have that. But what we are the only ones I know that have is the next thing. You see, what happens when that stuff dies off is you actually have a condition that some people have symptomatically, which is called actually fungus die off or mold die off or yeast die off. What happens then is as the formula or whatever you're taking on that, it could be a, a medication also too, on it, uh, diflucan or any of those things, is it kills it. Now, when it does that, it kills the yeast and mold and fungus. Obviously, like anything that dies, well, there's a dead body, okay? Cells, dead cells. Well, then what happens is 
there's enough of that, the yeast, mold, and fungus, which is still living because it doesn't get all of it, turns around, cannibalizes it, and goes, dinner, wow, and grows all over again. So then when you go into die-off, there's all these horrible die-off symptoms that you get. Now, uh, funguses, our formula over here is a little better than that because what it does, it neutralizes the acts of toxins in the body as they're being created. So then you're full of fungus, you're full of yeast, or full of mold. As those things die off, it doesn't create more food per se or nutritional aspect for its living whatever's left there. Instead, it neutralizes it, makes it inert, takes it out through the kidneys, and that's the end of it. Uh, we have done really well. I made that for myself, and I swear it saved my life. I was poisoned by a dentist, actually. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it naturally uh, purposeful, but he was a very bad dentist and charged phenomenal. It was one of those guys, anyhow. I got so sick, I couldn't get out of bed for two, two and a half weeks at a time. And um, unfortunately, at the time, I happened to be getting Consumers.org magazine, and they were talking about that very illness. And they said over 25,000 people a year get what I got from the dentist, which is a completely wipe out your flora in your system and get an overgrowth of that. Like I said, I couldn't get out of the bed two and a half weeks at a time. My practice was dying, and so was I. I was sick for almost two years. And then kind of I was kind of giving up and thinking maybe I should just really think I'm, I'm going to be leaving the planet. And I had an inspiration. I barely made it into my laboratory. I was so weak on it. I mean, literally, I was like holding on to the walls and stuff. I just happened to have all the things I needed prepared mixed together, took the first dose, and the next day I started to feel better. It took months to recover and it was uh, to rebuild my flora. My health is fantastically good. I still eat an antifungal diet, let me tell you, on that. It was quite a few years ago uh, with it, but I, I really feel that it saved my life because I couldn't digest anymore. I drink water and I would bloat on it and get sick. So, that, yeah, exactly. So that's the formula on it. Uh, we've done really, really well with this. I love this formula. So the application here would be people living in molded houses, people infected with the famous candida, yeah, the white-coated tongue. That. All of the above. You got it, friend. And, okay, great. Yeah. Simple. Now, this one, you do you have to stay on that for a long, long time? Or well, it's been a year, maybe? Well, you know, it depends on how bad it is and the, the condition of your system. I mean, like I was mentioning, I think, in one of the other videos over there, you know, I have people that take it, you know, and they're still eating like sugar donuts, you know, and food like that all day long. They're living in a moldy environment. You know, they're having relations with a partner and passing yeast infections back and forth. And then they go, okay, will I be better soon? You know, if you're bleeding out, you don't have a Band-Aid, probably not. So the thing is, with certain formulas, let's just mention the fibro ease. If you ate sprouts all day long or you went to McDonald's, it doesn't make a difference. It works strictly on one principle in the body, basically of chemical conductivity and how it works period. The fungus formula is the exact opposite. You need to go on one of those wonderful fungus yeast-free diets, which I imagine you probably help people with, you know, and then you have stuff also. Also, too, if you need this formula, you should be talking to Martin about some kind of probiotic on that. I can't stress that enough. So that also is why I encourage people to talk to Martin. Okay, first is because Martin may say, hey, you got this, the fungus formula is what you need. However, now you need this with it. So that's why I, I mentioned to people again, is like you get so much more talking to Martin because he has a whole plethora of things that could really enhance even what we have here. Lovely. Well, and can you then relate the immune oh, back to it? Immunogen. I love that formula. <laughs> uh, immunogen is wonderful. We couldn't make this like, uh, it's been around for maybe five or six, seven years. We couldn't make this 10 years ago. Uh, the reason is we have herbs from all around the world. We have mushrooms from China on there. We have herbs from islands. We have herbs from um, 12,000 feet up in the, uh, in the Peru mountains, uh, Condorango. Uh, we have herbs from a number of different parts of the world. And now we're part of a whole fantastic program where they're guaranteed absolutely organic 
on this or Wildcraft, do we have certification? We can get a certification letter on everything. I'm saying again, 10 years ago, we couldn't have. So we could have gotten the herb, but it was really questionable, the quality of it. They could say, oh yeah, it's organic. Who told you? Oh, well, his mother is, is, is guaranteeing that. No, no, no. Now it's like we have that. So that was really important. So what this does is it really works on all kinds of immune problems. Uh, you can take it from anything as a prophylactic so you don't get the cold or flu if you take it correctly. We can't guarantee it, obviously, if you're around a lot of sick people. You can use it for, oh God, infections in the body, just fevers, all kinds of things. Now, a lot of folks like to take this, since you mentioned dosing, a lot of folks will do the half an eye dropper times three on that, which is a standard dose, which is a wonderful prophylactic and preventative during the season. If you get sick, here's what you're gonna do, folks. You're gonna get yourself a great big glass of water. You could take a full eye dropper every couple of hours and chase it with a glass of water. You will urinate a whole lot, just, <laughs> just to let you know, but the water is very important. And you can do that for a whole day on that or even two days if you're really, really sick. Again, if you have questions on the dosing you're not sure, ask Martin. And if Martin can't answer that, then please feel free to get in touch with me. Always happy to. But that's basically, but it, again, lots of people have immune formulas. We'll call ours the best of best, you know, best of show. But it's been used therapeutically in the practice. So that's where I get to see where these things shine on it. We used to keep three immune formulas around for different types of things on that. And one of them even had a booster. Once I was able to get these kind of herbs from around the world, we basically defaulted to one immune formula and it does the job better than all three it used to. Okay. So now there are uh, two branches to the immune system, right? The moral and the, and the antibodies. Mm -hmm. Does this support both sides? One of the sides? How does it work? Well, I would have to say it supports everything in their well at the same time, neutralizing poisons and toxins and offending matter within the, the system at the same time. It's a pretty complex formula. So when we talk about an immune formula, there's so many aspects you have to put in there. Now, that's where we defer back to more of the tonic aspect of that, like the Dr. Christopher style. On that, uh, nothing for immune system works better. Than the, the tonic approach. And that's a really, really highly wonderful tonic formula. We couldn't do a lot of the chemical chain in that whole thing just because there's so many applications that can be used for. And without knowing that, we had to make it more of a wider application uh, than saying, oh, you can use it specifically for this type of infection, for example. So where you can get the different applications would be in the amounts of the dosing on that. Like I said, uh, a tonic support, prophylactic, half an eye dropper three times a day. You could take it an extended period of time. Uh, <laughs> we have a bunch of school teachers, okay, with kids, and they go, the only thing that keeps me healthy is that we just had a lady buy two of our ounce bottles on it. She's a school teacher. She goes, I'm your biggest fan. She goes, I won't get sick again this year. She goes, last year was the first year I didn't get sick, okay, with the kids, and down two or three times. She goes, I was just kind of keeping it on my desk. So it can be very, very, very efficacious. Um, I've been around a lot of sick people this year. I'm here in California and um, I've been good. I get somebody come in, eh, eh, cough, cough. And I got my bottle over there and I can tell you what I'm taking right away. <laughs> and so we're like flying in an airplane in the winter. Oh God, and yes. Yes. Separate. Oh God, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they should hand it out on the airplanes. Great. So take it on your travels, take it whenever you're going into a lot of contact with the uh, public, yes. especially yeah. strangers, because you're going to be encountering all kinds of things. Yeah. And if your job includes handling a lot of stuff that people have spat or sniffed on, then there's your answer. You bet. Thank you, Elijah. This is Martin Pitella for Life Enthusiast. Reach me at life-enthusiast.com or 866-543-3388. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet.